Aloha, Claire here with the Alexander Technique. The sun is setting today. It's Christmas Day. Um, Merry Christmas if you celebrate. Happy Hanukkah if you celebrate. Um, and goodbye 2016. We're starting um, this year. We're going to continue with the exploring the map of your skin, the innervation of your skin on the surface of your body. And we've been starting with the face. Here you can see the face. Skin of the face. And now today we're going to move on to the fourth cervical nerve, which innervates some skin deep down into your neck. And it's colored in yellow here. So um, we've just been using our hands to touch that skin. So I'll show you on the side. Uh, you can see where, if you can kind of find the most forward curve of your throat. Um, and you start in the back. And you just want to touch the skin lightly and make sure that it's nice and easy and that there isn't a lot of tension underneath it. So this strip of skin, um, it goes down at a diagonal from that forward curve and it drapes across all these big muscles at the front of your neck, the sternocleta mastoids, and it comes right on down deep to the edge of your collarbone and it enervates a little bit of the edge of your collarbone and it enervates this whole kind of deep well of skin that's inside your shoulder girdle. So it's three dimensionally flows around your neck. And just to have a hand here in the backwards curve and a hand here you can begin to feel whether it's like tight or lifted or pulled or whether it's easy between your hands. So just to recap this whole upper head and neck that we've done, we're just going to follow the um, shape of the, of the dermatomes and then we're going to just do a little bit of an easy stretch movement. So you can just follow along. If you start with the backs of your hands here, and you just really want to think of your neck softening back and then coming up and over the back of the head, the top of the head, including your ears and around the front and right to the tip of your chin. So we're just going to let all of this soften and as it does, you want to let this really deep base of your neck soften too so that there's no pulling of your collarbone or your shoulder blades in or tightening. It's just nice and soft and easy. And you're just going to go all the way over like this. And then you can allow your neck to lengthen. So this whole part of your throat is open and easy. You can turn your head or bring your forehead here and just have your hands and your forearms easy. And then you get to look out and up and let all of this open and then just come back and sit back. And if your feet are really tight, you can do all of that sitting on something like this. So it's just a release over where the whole throat in here gets to soften. And you can just hang over like that. And come out and up. And the whole idea is that to explore this deep region of your neck without bracing your shoulder girdle. So you don't have to push your shoulders down, you don't have to lift them up, and hopefully um, it brings a little bit easier breathing and a little bit more open voice and throat. So peace and love, let's be gentle on ourselves in the coming year, 
Um, my newsletter this month is about how gentle action can be very, very powerful. So peace out. Thanks for watching.